Welcome to this week's edition of Ray Bosses on the channel. It is Friday. That means we are going over you know, the newest Ray Boss, like I just said. But we have this week, let me introduce to you Jesse, the Corin Raid Boss. Now, Jesse is. Jesse and Ryan are the two longest, uh, I guess, supporters of this Raid Boss thing, if you want to put it that way. So, uh,. I absolutely had to make sure that they both are getting their own raid bosses, 100%. Jesse's up first. Ryan most likely will be in a few weeks. I don't want to say when, but he's coming up. I promise that. But uh, let's break down Corrin here. Quick for the uh, attribute or the uh, personality. And then just kind of like simple sort of stuff. Uh, weapon attack, because, well, obvious reasons. Air attack. corn has got some decent stuff in the air. Up air, pretty good. Back air is actually a pretty decent uh, KO option. I, pr I like it pretty much. And you could use it. Uh, back air is great for helping with recovery because it actually pushes Corrin, uh, depending on which way you're facing. You know, back air is pretty good. Pushes Corrin towards the ledge a little bit. Helps with recovery. And then I went with dash attack because I like Corrin's dash attack. And it gives Corrin a little bit of move speed as well. So, heck, why not? Corrin's not the fastest, so... Uh, you know, benefit from that a little bit. And then, of course, you see the stats. Pretty balanced. So, uh, that's what we got for this week for Jesse. And, uh, you know the next step. Let's get to that arena. Ooh, let's do this. Corrin Raid Boss. Raid Boss number three of the season. Oh, let, uh, Ryan, a little respect right there. I like it. it was a respectful. I like it. I like it. We got the Corin Raid Boss. We got Jesse kicking things off. And the good thing is, Jesse... Well, okay, this wasn't a good... Well, it, it is what it is. Last week, Jesse actually missed the uh, Raid Boss Arena. But this week, he's back. And he will get his chance. I believe he's third in line right now. But he will... Oh, gosh. But he will get his... Oh, Ryan got the first stock. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, right into... Oh, God! Oh, Ryan's going to beat the Raid Boss on the first turn. Oh, this is a disaster. This is not going the way I wanted to for the first attempt. Oh, oh, I'm happy Jesse's here, but this... Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Ryan, why are you so good? Oh, this isn't... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. I wanted it to be good. Oh, no. Corn uh, Cor doesn't have the recovery for that. Ryan just three-stocked the Raid Boss. What a horrible start. Game over. Well, uh, maybe the raid boss should be canceled today. Maybe the raid boss should be canceled today. That's, um, that's quite unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. Um, I didn't want to start, like, okay. I didn't expect, <laughs> I didn't expect Corrin to go undefeated. Because I don't think, Corrin's got some good power, but I don't, oh, there you go, nice back air. That was something I really wanted to train on. Back air. Back air is like a great KO option. But Corrin... Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Pixel. <laughs> but Corrin does have kind of an issue with recovery. That was something I was playing with with Spirits. I wanted... I was thinking about doing something with recovery, but I decided to go against it. Just went with, well, what I have. What do I have? Air attack, dash attack, and weapon attack, I think. That's what I ended up going with. Oh, maybe I should have went with recovery because <laughs> Ryan absolutely destroyed the raid boss. Ryan three stocks the raid boss. Oh, Jesse, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, may okay, look. May remember my theory? Remember my theory? I've said this in several raid boss videos before. I think raid bosses need a few games to, 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 to practice, to, to wake up, so to speak. And just like any human, you need a couple to get going. Right, it's like you need that uh, that cup of coffee in the morning. You need that to get you to wake you up, and I think I sh that's just what the raid boss needs. Okay, okay. At least the second match was better. It went from getting three stocked to doing the three stock, so that was that was better at, at least, I suppose. But here's the matchup that uh, I'm looking forward to the most: Jesse versus Dempsey. This is who the raid boss is. Well, pretty much made after, right? Jesse's been here except every, for every raid boss except last week for Hero. Been here every week. So, I, I suppose the only thing that I care about, yeah, raid bosses lose. It happens. But the only thing I guess I care about the most would be, is if Jesse's happy in the end with the raid boss, then I, I'll feel much better. <laughs> I still hate that he lost. 
that he no. I still hate that Corin lost the first match in the. Oh, that was that was. Oh, I hate to see that. I hate to see that. I think that's only the second time ever that a raid boss has lost their first match in the in their uh, arena for the week. Yeah, anybody remember who that first raid boss was that lost their very first matchup? Yeah, that was uh, that was good old Rob. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the down air SD. Ooh, okay. I, I'm, I'm very. I want to see this one. I gotta see this one. So here, here's a quick story. I've said this before, but uh, every week for the raid boss arena, before I put the raid boss into the arena, we always like to do a few practice matches to kind of let people get a, a little bit warmed up, right? You don't want to go and face in a raid boss all cold and be like, oh crap, I'm gonna get my butt whooped. No. So, uh, during this week's practice matches, Circus Baby was playing as Bayonetta. Bayonetta was whooping the crap out of everybody. Came down to, like, the last stock against Ryan, but this is a solid Bayonetta. I can't wait. I, I think there's a good chance this Bayonetta could, uh, could beat the Raid Boss this week. Yes, look at the combos. Look at the combos. This is what I wanted for my Bayonetta Raid Boss. Unfortunately, like, yo! In the middle, but wait, what? There wasn't a KO? Bayonetta, how did you survive that? Woo! Witch time into actually getting poked. <laughs> Bayonetta got poked by witch. Or, well, not witch time, but whatever. I don't even know the name of Corn's attacks. I don't even. That, that's something. I've never really paid attention to the name of attacks. I only know the direction of attacks. Oh, no. No, oh, look at that. Look at the recovery. Nicely done. Went for down air, missed, went soaring past the ledge, but had the wherewithal to recover perfectly. Great jumps, great use of, um, the, what, what, what's the, 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 the witch booster, the rocket boosted, I don't know what the hell that thing is called, but great use of recovery right there, it's pretty good. Ooh, big punch, big forward smash, big forward smash, nicely done. Circus Baby got a stock right there, that's good. First person to get a stock since well, Ryan took all three of them. In the back air. I love back air on corn. So good. Another new person? What? I always get new people joining, and I always love that so much. Like, we're able to grow the raid boss amiibo, the just the amiibo community in general. So cool. So awesome. Unless, oh my god, Corin! Corin with the pinpoint snipe on that one. Oh, shield break. Shield break, charges it up, big attack, 66, I think it was all 66 damage from one attack, that was pretty dang good, caught him with the up special on the recovery, watch out Luke, Lucas, I don't even know my characters, watch out Ness, watch out Ness, uh, I think this is a new person, look, on the Switch, Nintendo, everybody knows this, you can change your name whenever to whatever, uh, it's kind of annoying, because I have friends on my friends list that change their name all the time, and then they invite me to a match, and they go, hey, I haven't seen you in a long time, and I look at the name and go, I have no idea who you are. And then they're all offended by it. Like, what do you mean? How do you not remember me? Like, I don't know what your name is. I didn't want to do extra jump because that takes two slots. And I don't know if that's worth it. To me, I don't think that's really worth it on Corrin. Maybe other characters, sure. But for Corrin, two slots for just an extra jump. I didn't feel like that was, that was, that, that wasn't needed. Wow. Wow. Just a, was that neutral air? I think that was a neutral air. Just out of nowhere. Just boop. That's what I loved about neutral air on Corrin, too. It's got such a big hitbox. It hits from the front. It hits from the side. It hits from the back. It hits upwards. Like, it's just such a good move. Such a good move. And another good thing about Corrin that we did during training. She was able to juggle a little bit or combine a couple of those uh, uh, those up airs. Or up tilts, I should say. Combine a couple of those together. Big damage on that. Uh-oh. Gonna go for the carry? Nope. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Not at the percentage. Per so, that's okay. Oh! Big forward smash blocked. Gale Storm. <laughs> We're down to the last stock again. Why do, why do we have to come down to the last stock? Oh, good block right there. I don't think that was intentional. Oh, went for the back air. Just missed it. Just missed it. Dash attack. No one for the grab. Missed. Forward tilt. Coming back on stage. Get back on stage. Get back on stage. Come on, Raid Boss Corn. Come on, Raid Boss Jesse. Let's do this. Let's go. Jesse just said in chat, too. <laughs> this Corn Raid Boss isn't authentic until he sees... A, a down air SD. Um, I, I don't know if you'll see that, but <laughs> yeah, that would definitely make him authentic for sure. Or her authentic for sure. No, what are you doing? Stop with the up tilts. Go for a back tilt. 
A back tilt? Go for a forward tilt. Go for something. Oh, no. Oh, no. The carry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Recover. Oh, God. What is happening? Please. Somebody put an end to this match. But make sure Corrin wins this one. Make sure Corrin wins. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Come back. Down air. Oh, back tilt. Jeez. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. So we're going to have our second loss. The Ray Boss going to have... Oh, just dodged it. Woo, big launch on that one. Not enough for the KO. Samus is back. No problem. Oh, God. Okay, okay. We're fine. Corrin, just avoid everything. Just avoid all the attacks. I told you to avoid attacks. Circus Baby with the character change this time. Going with Palutena. Palu, let's see how Palutena is able to stack up against the raid boss this week. And uh, again, I've, oh my goodness, uh, you're fine, you're fine. No, I thought you were about to just SD for no reason. I'm like, what are you doing? What you doing? Don't do that. We don't want to see that. There you go. Neutral air. Oh my god, the neutral air carries. That's so good. I wonder, there's no way an amiibo can do that. Oh, the reflect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. Corrin, don't ever play with projectiles again from such a far distance. Oh, I thought Corrin was going to go for down air for some reason. I was like, make it authentic. Make Corrin authentic with the down air SD. Woo, nice dodge into the forward smash. Taking the first stock off the Roid boss right there. Good job. Look at that. We all evened up zero. Each each character, two stocks left, zero. Well, I mean, 25% now. But still, this is a very good even match. I like this. I like this. And I am, I am in the... Kinda, I don't want to say the middle, but I'm in the stages of training of Raid Boss Palutena. So, I'm, look at that. Look at that. Neutral airs. I mean, like, that. that's that's just cla classic Palutena right there. Nice counter on the recovery to catch Gorin. Ooh, almost didn't get back on stage. I like the counter idea. That's so clever. I wonder if a Raid Boss is doing it. Like, I'm taking notes on this thing. I'm taking notes with this Palutena. And then I'll try it out in the Raid Boss. Uh, during the training and see if the raid boss is able to do that if the raid boss can do that yo the spike followed by the taunt well deserved taunt in my opinion <laughs> look at that look at that all of that only did 29 percent damage but that was so cool to watch that was so cool to watch i know like oh there you go there's, there's the neutral air there it is all right corin you are at a disadvantage percentage wise you need to start hitting some attacks here. You need... Oh, no, the, the footstool gets... I hate to see a footstool beat a raid boss. Oh, Blue tried to go for the sing right there. Blue tried to go for the sing right there. <laughs> Blue pick, picking out Jigglypuff. This one, nobody's ever played against uh, as Jigglypuff against any raid bosses before. This is... Uh, okay, I like it. I want... You know, you know I want to see a rest. I want to see a rest get connected. If it doesn't, I'm, I'm not, oh, that's the falling sleep almost where Corrin had the wherewithal to actually use an attack at least. Oh, that would have been nice. The rest was coming. I could feel it. I could feel it. And I guess we could say that uh, Cor Corrin might need a rest after this raid boss arena this week because, uh, what is that, four losses? Four losses, I think. That's, um... Yeah, that's not good. The Corrin Amiibo is is all right. It's not one of the better Amiibos by any stretch of the imagination. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. I like the spike, but it wasn't worth it. You couldn't make it back on stage. You still get style points, though. You still get some style points on it. I like it. I like the commitment to the... Uh, the uh, the attack there. I'm, yes. Nice. There you go. See? We figured out Corn's weakness. We figured out Corn's weakness. Recovery. Oh, no. The tumble. Oh, that was... Oh, okay. That could have been... I think that could have had... That could have been better. Better spaced out, but that's okay. Still punished, which is good. You can punish a shield break with an amiibo. You did training well. Because, again, people don't train on that. And then they wonder why their hero amiibo sits there and just stares at them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chocopus. A uh, one good attack here from Corrin. Yep, there it is. Oh, Pierce Donkey Kong right through the heart. The only thing that's going to matter this week for, in terms of, uh, I guess, how happy I am, as long as, oh no, Jesse, able to recover. Good, good, good. The only thing that's going to matter to me with this raid boss is as long as 
Jesse was happy. I'm happy, I guess. I know we've had the raid boss lose like four times, and that's never that's never a good showing for a raid boss, but as long as Jesse's happy, it's all good. Oh, the spike. <laughs> oh, the spike just sent Corrin hurtling into the abyss in the jungle japes. No, that's the wrong stage. What, what, this one's the Congo jungle. Oh, man. Who knows what's down there? Who knows what's down there? Well, actually, I do. It's death. That's what's down there. Oh, don't get hit by a smash attack, please, Corrin. Please, don't lose to Ganondorf. Is that a falling up here for a win? We'll take it. Oh, the stuff. Oh, no, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Why is it always Ganondorf? Why is it always Ganondorf? There you go. There you go. There's a nice little string right there. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Do you imagine that? Angled a little bit better. Or just the angle that uh, Corrin could have been launched. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Charge it up. Charge it up. Didn't charge it up the smash attack. What are you doing, Corrin? We know okay. We got that one. You got that one. Let's go. Keep it rolling, though. Keep it rolling. You're losing right now. And it's to Ganondorf, which I'm very, very worried about. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep it up. You got you got the reach. You got the reach with the smash attack. Now make put it to use. Don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by that. Oh, we saved Corn right there. Oh, that was unintentional. Went with the back air. Ah, uh, hit, hit the back air. Corn up specials. Couldn't make it back to the stage. And well, okay, roll happened to be recovering right then. Ah, uh, the jetpack saved Corn. Ah, uh, dang it. All right, Blue. All right, buddy. Let's get let's get a stock here. Let's get let's make K rule look. Yes, counter. Chop that big belly. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Great back air that time. Great back at that time. Let's go. Get that stuff going. Get the counters. Get the attacks. Yes. Oh, yeah. Amiibos are going to mash out of that so easily. So freaking easily. Like, they don't mash out of anything, like, so quickly. It's, it's almost... Yes, yeah, nice counter. But it's, like, so... It's, like, almost un, unfair. It's almost unfair. No! Speaking of unfair, K. Rule's chances were robbed. Ooh! Was that a counter? Was that a counter? Whatever that was, that was awesome. Good work. Job's bringing this match back. Let's go. He's at 127, but keep up the offensive pressure. Keep up the punches. I like it. I like it. That's the way to beat somebody. Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And now this raid boss has a plan, but, well, little Max is punching him in the face. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Decent effort, though, Job. Nice do nicely done. The final battle of the week. Raid boss, Corin, Jesse taking on Voro, the Inkling. Let's see how this one goes. Let's see how colorful the Inkling gets this week. Or, I mean, Inkling's opponent gets this week. I love it. I love it. I've been... I think I mentioned this in Joker's Raid Boss. I think I mentioned in Joker's Raid Boss where I seen Voro playing as Inkling. And uh, Voro was playing very well to the point that I was like... Yo, I need to go start training my own raid boss, um, Inkling. Um, yeah, I may have started doing that. I may have started the process of training a raid boss Inkling. When is that going to happen? I don't, I have no idea. Like I said, I already have 14 of the 16 raid bosses already penciled in for when I want them to go live. So, that, I guess that's just saying 14 out of the 16 raid boss slots are ready to go. I mean, that's including the Joker and Hero that we've already had. So that leaves, like, kind of two two iffy spots on maybe characters that I don't feel are quite up to snub, or maybe uh, some random character comes along and all of a sudden I go, yo, I need to train that one. So maybe Inkling and Boro sneak in there. Ooh, was that an up smash? That was a sneaky little up smash. Yo, nicely done with the ink. Ink grenade, ink ball, whatever the heck that's called. I forget. That was nice. I love that. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Maybe I got to teach that to my raid boss if they can do it. I've heard uh, you want to stay away from that for amiibos, though, because uh, they might not uh, recover or uh, might not uh, refill their uh, their uh, their ink gauge, their ink 
whatever the canister. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Look, I, this is how much I know about Splatoon. <laughs> but uh, I gotta see if I could try that. Like, hey, I take notes from you guys and, and stuff that you do, and then I try. I will try to apply that to future raid bosses once they come out. So, yeah, I'm always learning. I'm always learning. I'm not the best by any means, but doesn't mean you can't be. Can't you can't. You can't sit there and just be like, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've done enough. I've done all that I can. There's no way I can improve. You can always improve. You just got to kind of figure out what your what your weaknesses are, what uh, what your strengths are. Build upon both of them. Maybe try to, oh, you just got the game. Oh, inkling. Oops. All right. Um, it was a Corrin amiibo. I guess that's, <laughs> that's how I'll say that. Um, I didn't expect. I mean, Corrin's not the... Uh, I mean, if Jesse was happy, then I, I guess that's all that matters to me. As long as Jesse was happy with the raid boss, I hope he was. But, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this week, though. I hope you guys enjoyed, as always. And, uh, yep, you guys will get your little sneak peek for uh, the next raid boss. And, uh, might I just say, the next raid boss is going to be a little bit sexy.